Timmy Wagon. I live in Santa Clarita, California, and I ride for Johnny Campbell Racing Honda. So far throughout the year, I've been uh, racing the Work Series. I currently am in fourth place in the uh, points. Uh, I've had a pretty consistent year. I'm currently leading the Western Hair Scramble Series, and uh, uh, we just got back from Mammoth about three weeks ago, where um, I had an awesome time, a lot of great racing. Um, I had some good results up there. I got second overall in the vet weekend. I won on Sunday there, and uh, I won Friday the Open Pro Race, and then uh, Saturday and Sunday I got second. My Johnny Campbell Racing team, we've been working hard, and. I'm fortunate and super pumped. I get to uh, participate in the ISDE this year and uh, go represent uh, the United States. The ISDE is an uh, international six-day enduro. It's a um, pretty historic race. It's kind of like the motocross the nations, but uh, more of an off-road rendition of it. Uh, we race for six days straight, um, six to seven hours a day with uh, hours of test so we'll trail ride for an hour and then we'll do like a five minute maybe a motocross test and then go back on the trail ride and do another test um, so that's how we accumulate our time and then at the end of each day we have 15 minutes to change moose, mooses and tires and oil and filters so um, it's a pretty full-on event from what it sounds like it's going to be a long six days but um, I'm super pumped to be able to go out and be a part of the team. We have an awesome team and uh, go out there and get it done. My uh, relationship with Panic Rev, uh, I guess, kind of started at Mammoth maybe last year. Um, I got to know Scott and John really well and it's just grown from there. They uh, have do an awesome thing in the industry. When you a group like them to uh, just get the Lord out there and be a part of our family and our community. Motocross is so such like a family sport that um, to have somebody like them is awesome and someone to lean on and pray for you and help you through your uh, struggles. They're helping me out a lot. They're helping me with my ISDE's uh, fundraiser and uh, helping me get to the race. You know, I'm just pumped to have them part of my life and uh, helping me through the times. Nick Brozovic, uh, I live in um, Asperia in California and Bayfield, Colorado, kind of live both places and I ride for JCR Honda. So far this year I've been racing the Works series and I just got done with the first Enduro Cross uh, race of uh, the series. I was hurt at the beginning of the year, I had a broken wrist and a broken thumb that was pretty bad. So I kind of came into the year behind everyone else and um, i just been playing catch up. Coming up for me next is uh, there's a week long or two week long event in Washington State. Um, there's a hair, hair scramble this weekend coming, and um, then the Wednesday there's like a motocross race, and then Friday an enduro cross race, and then the next Sunday there's a works race, and those are all um, promoted by the people that run works. And then uh, from there I head straight to um, Oklahoma for the next round of enduro cross, and um, from then then I got I think a one week off, and then we're in Utah for another hair scramble and then we're at Glen Helen for the next works race. So my uh, next couple months is gonna be pretty packed. Well, I, I met all the Panic Rev guys through uh, my buddy Chris Johnson. And then uh, at Mammoth last year, I really started hanging out with them and I really kind of liked what was going on down there. And um, so then I, I became more of a part of it. And uh, I really enjoy going down there and fellowshipping with everyone. Uh, that's been a really great experience for me, just having those guys kind of as a, um, a support group for me. And Jeff Jetton has uh, really just, he's helped me a lot, just 
giving me his opinions and he I mean he's even helped me with my riding going to the track and stuff which is um, awesome you know I, to do that for free I mean I can't pay him or nothing so he's just doing that out of the kindness of his heart so you know I, I can't say thanks enough and um, but it, it's awesome he, he tells me like it is and lets me know his opinions on my life and it helps me stay on the straight and narrow uh, having somebody you know tell me tell me how I should be doing and not what I'm what I'm doing is right or whatever so it's just it's good for me being a Christian you know to have somewhere to go and, and have some people to go hang out with it's not a you know it's not a, a regular church that's on Sunday that I can never get to go to because I'm racing you know it's on Thursday nights and everyone down there rides which is is awesome because you know you're hanging out with your peers the people we see at the track every day we see them at Panagraph too so it's, it's really cool to, um, to have that connection with with people, I really enjoy it. You know, uh, John, that guy's so cool, like literally, he's really cool. <laughs>